Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do a vacuum. The bottom part of this is just an air freshener for your car. I took it completely apart. Okay, then I had some eyedropper bottles. I took the center of the eyedropper bottle out and cut it off. And then I reinserted this with a needle lid at the bottom. Okay, then I put that back together. Just like that. Okay, then I took a bendy straw and two different types of tubing, and I put one up inside the other. This is the bottom of a chemical um, container hose. Same way with these, they're just different sizes. All right, so then you want to go ahead and put this in here, like this. Then you want to take your straw and your hose. It right down the middle okay your next step is going to be to take a ring which is just a piece of plastic that I cut and then you want to fit your hose down in that ring just slide it right in there okay so once you have that down in there you want to go ahead and Stick the hose from the straw down in beside it, okay? Then slide that down to the bottom, okay? Now this part, I cut this off and I just slid that inside the straw. It actually comes out, but it's kind of tight to fit, all right? Now once you have that in there like that, you want to get everything centered the best that you can. Now you want to get yourself a clear piece of tubing which this came from um, an automotive place and it came with like little fuses in it. And then you want to get yourself some more um, tubing that's large and you want to cut them in small little pieces like this. Then you want to cut the end of it off on an angle and glue two together. Alright, once you have two together, then you're going to slide them down inside there. You can paint them if you like. You don't have to. So you want to slide them in there, and then it should look like this. Let's see if I can get the focus for you. Okay. So after you have that, then you want to go ahead and take yourself a round cap. You can use paper or you can use a plastic cap off of anything. Mine actually came from a recycled needle cap because my mother-in-law's dog is diabetic, so she saved that for me. All right. So I cut the end of that off, which gave me this little disc. You can use a button, too. So you're going to put that on there like that. You want to glue that in place, all right? And then for the bottom part, you're going to leave that like it is, and then you're going to glue that on top of the, the base down here, okay? Now, as far as this goes, this is also another needle cap, and I just cut it off right where I wanted it, and then I turned around and used my multi-cut tool To snap it to where I had like a, a tube that looked like this. Then I heated it using a lighter. I put it on some pliers and I just heat at the bottom of it. You can heat, use a heat gun or whatever it is that you have. After it was heated, I laid it flat and then I pressed it. Of course, that was too long in between. Let me do it again. So I just pressed it to where it flattens it out. Okay, just like that. And then trim off the excess. All right, once I did that, then I cut a little hole in there using a pair of scissors. Of course, you can use a drill bit. And I took a smaller piece of tubing and I stuck it in there. 
then I wrap some tape around there. All right, and the great thing about that is this little end that goes to the um, squirt bottle will allow it to sit right in there. So then you have a nice little vacuum cleaner attachment. Okay, and you want to paint it all with some nail polish or whatever color you want to do. Have that like that. Attach this with the glue so that you have it in place. And you can paint your little cylinder things up there if you like a different color. I'm undecided if I want to do that yet. All right, so there's my vacuum attachment. I'm going to go ahead and paint it, and I'll be right back. Okay, real quick so you can see what that piece is. This is the inside of a Clorox container. This is the piece that I cut off. Okay, so for the other attachment, take the same thing and then you melt the end and you squeeze it together with pliers and then you can cut it off and then you'll have the attachment that goes like this. Okay, so now what you want to do is fill the bottom with hot glue to hold everything in place. And then you want to take some tubing that's a little bit larger than the tubing that you have for your attachments. That way, you can have your attachments slide right in there for storage. Okay, once you do that, then you want to cut them very, very small like this. And then you want to hot glue them or crazy glue them along this piece here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hot glue them because it's quicker. And I don't have children that's going to be playing around with my stuff, so it's going to be fine. All right, there's one there. And now I'm gonna do one on the other side. And then obviously you can paint them. All right, so Here's my little attachments. My first one's going to go in there. And then my second one will go in there. And that's it. I went ahead and painted my little cylinders red to match the rest of it. I'm going to give it another coat. But that's it. That's all it is to it. Larger tube with a smaller tube inside and I bent it and held it in place until it cooled down after I stuck it in front of a hair dryer. And then I'm going to repaint this cord here or the hose, but it comes out and you can kind of hook it up. The little attachments fit right on there. Uh-oh. I may have to use crazy glue after all. But they fit right inside there. Take them out. Put it back down in here. Now I did put a little piece of a straw down in there. Just so that I didn't have to deal with it um, moving and like coming out of place or anything like that when I was putting the hot glue in there. But once the hot glue dries... And cools completely. I plan on taking that straw out if I can get it out of there. Let me put this back on here. Um, the hot glue does not seem to hold very well. Um, but it's okay. Because like I said, I'm not actually going to be using the thing with kids or anything. Crazy glue would probably be your better choice. Yep, but that's it.
All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a question, suggestion, and comment below. And I'll post a picture of this at the end of it being completely finished. All right, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.